All right, what's going on, everybody? And this is Jay Adams, and I'm back with another video for you guys. And I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel and giving me all kinds of different ideas to go off of. You guys have been amazing. And anybody new around here, of course, feel free to subscribe. It really, really helps me out a lot. Of course, if you like my videos, give them a like. And if you guys would also ring that notification bell, then you'll know when I'm uploading stuff just like this. And what I'm talking about is, is not fresh at the time of recording this video, but it was just so fun that I, 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 I can't believe I failed to mention it on the channel, guys. Like, it's, it's nuts, right? Uh, but I, I had a lot of fun a couple weeks ago at the Santana Arena in Reading, Pennsylvania. It was Fallen Reverse, Papa Roach, uh, Hollywood and Dead, and Bad Wolves. Amazing fucking show. Um, unfortunately I missed Bad Wolf set. Uh, we were just running a little bit late. Well, late. I had to work that day too. And, uh, yeah, it just, it, there was just so many factors, uh, that went into why we were late for their set. So I apologize, Bad Wolf, for missing your set. I hope to see you guys at some point in the future and check you out. But we got there for Hollywood and Dead and caught maybe, I, I want to say probably 85% of their set. So we saw a good portion. And, they were just fucking incredible. And they had songs like Undead, uh, Hear Me Now, Young, uh, Everywhere I Go. The, the list goes on. Uh, you guys probably, if you listen to the songs, uh, you probably be like, oh yeah, I know that song. And that, that's kind of how it was for me. Cause like, I didn't really listen to Hollywood Dead in, like really for like a while. And then when I saw their set, I was just like, oh yeah, this band is great. And I'm just going to run some clips for you guys. <laughs> Okay, so now you're getting what I'm, you know, tossing at you guys here. And yeah, just all kinds of front men, you know, they have all kinds of guys rapping, switching instruments and, you know, like uh, playing bass and guitar and, you know, keyboards. It's, it's really, really freaking fascinating. And you just got to love their energy, guys. It's like, even if you're not a huge fan of them or you can't get into them, you got to, you got to, you got to love the energy and the charisma that they have. Okay, moving on to following reverse. And uh, I must say, wow, um, Ronnie, you're one of the best front men in the rock business, I must say. And this was my third time seeing Fall in Reverse. Last time I seen them was probably like 2016, probably at Warp Tour. And I saw them at the Sherman Theater with Black Belt Brides, I want to say 2014, 15, roughly. And this was the best that I seen them. And, you know, this is just a vibe I kind of got. It is, I don't, I don't really i can't really confirm this personally because i haven't met the guy but um we all know ronnie you know most of his you know career he's faced a lot of controversy in his career but you know this this particular show he seemed just calmer and you know like in a you know good way like like more stable you know like he was still being him himself you know and you know doing a lot of energy and doing his quirky things which is great you know i love the theatrics but uh yeah he just seemed like you know he just has a more stable vibe and just seems to be a lot more he seems a lot more fun to be around at this point in his life and that's that's great to fucking see man and proud of you you know and just keep doing your thing and you keep making really really good songs you know they played all the good songs man i mean they play some stuff from the first record which is still my favorite record by falling in reverse some stuff from the second record uh fashionably late and uh i don't know if they played anything from coming home i'm not as familiar with that record i listened to that record all the way through probably like once and wasn't my favorite record to be honest, uh, there was a few good songs on there, like Chemical Pr Prisoner, which actually wasn't played, and that would have been awesome to hear. But they played the other really good ones, too, like uh, Drugs and Voices in My Head, Popular Monster, and Zombified actually came out with that song. And I'll roll that one really quick for you guys. It's just awesome to see the progression in the band. Uh, like I said, I saw them in like 2015, 2014, as well as Papa Roach, who headlined that night, last but not least. And I saw them in probably like 2000, I want to say 15, 16 as well, right around the same era. I saw Fallen Reverse last in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. 
at the Camellon Club, which is no longer an active venue, unfortunately. But kind of a more smaller kind of club vibe. And, you know, of course, Papa Roach really, really brought in that show. They played with Re We Are Harlot, which was, if you guys don't know, Dan and E. Warsnop, uh side band. Yeah, it was really cool to see them in a arena. It doesn't matter what stage they step on or who or how many people they're playing in front of. They just bring it, man. Every fucking time. Jacoby Shaddix, one of the best frontmen, as well as Ronnie. Uh, just running around the audience. Literally, he ran out into the audience and just did a, like a whole lap around. It, 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 it was great, you know, and just giving people high fives and like hugs and stuff. And like, it, it, he's just, it, he's just like an energizer bunny, man. He just keeps going, 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 going. It's like, dude, like it's so inspiring to see that. And he sounds incredible vocally live too. And I saw that this time around, they had a second guitarist as well. Because when I saw them at the Chameleon Club, I just seen Jerry Horton playing guitar. And that might be because they're in an arena. Maybe they needed a bigger sound or something. I don't know what the purpose was, but it really was awesome. Everything that they brought to the table. They also played all the big hits that you guys know, like Scars, Getting Away with Murder. Last Resort was one of the last songs they played. Uh, Kill the Noise, one of their newer songs. They opened up with that. It's, it's just incredible. I, I'm going to play some of this stuff. Shot! Uh, now, of course, I apologize. I only got limited footage on this show because on the way to the show, I was at about 60% battery. And then for some reason, I, I just posted one little thing, one little story, and it went from 60% down to 15%. It's like, what the fuck? My phone never does that. It's like, it has a vendetta against me when I go to events like this or something. It, like, it just never can have a full charge or a decent amount of charge. It's really, really fucked up. That's why I only had a limited amount of footage for Slutnot as well. If you guys like videos just like this, of course, give it a like. If you're new around here and you like what I'm doing, then hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, of course, as well, so you guys know what's going on with the channel. Of course, I do reactions on this channel as well. I actually did a few Falling Reverse reactions. I did a Zombified reaction, and I also did a Voices in My Head reaction. So if you guys want to go check them out as well, I'll put them in the description down below, or you can check out my playlist reactions. They'll be on there. And if you guys have any future reaction ideas, like it could be your band, it could be your music, whether you're a solo artist, I don't care. You know, I particularly try to stick to like metal and rock, but I am open to rap and hip hop and like R&B and other genres as well. If you guys want to throw them at me, I really appreciate it. Put down in the comment section down below your suggestions and I'll get around to them when I freaking can, guys. All right, that's about all I have for you guys today, and I appreciate you guys sticking with me to this point and all the support, of course. Until next time, guys, which will be Reaction Wednesday, 3 p.m. Of course, come hop on Twitch with me at 3.30 East Coast time on Twitch, which you can find down here, J. Adams Ocean, and uh, chat with me live as we react to some bands, guys. And uh, until the next one, guys, J. Adams is out. Thank <laughs> you.